Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do, I actually was supposed to have class today, but it got canceled. So I was like, oh, I'm going to make a video. So I thought I would do like a cute Valentine's Day look and I think I'm gonna do kind of like two three different versions because why not that sounds fun to me um before we get started please hit that subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter and we'll just get into the video so I've already got my brows done I this one looks really good this one looks kind of trash um but I had to like redo it because it was just like all sorts of fucked up but hopefully it's better now so what you will need if you want to like follow this tutorial or recreate it or whatever is you'll need a pink a hot pink eyeshadow a lighter pink eyeshadow and then a white I'm gonna use the ABH Riviera palette just because it has all the shades that I need it has the pink the light pink and the white so I'll be using that one, um, but you don't have to use this one, of course, but I've done this look before with this palette and it turns out really good every time. So I thought I would just keep it, go with the safe route and use the same one. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a light base because um, if you're paler than me, you probably don't have to do this, but um, I really want the colors to show up, especially the hot pink. So I'm going to take a really light base. This is like the lightest one in the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, and it's in Fair... Fairest. I want like a white one, but I have yet to get my hands on it. But this one usually does the trick. And I'm going to try to do it where you don't set it. But we'll see. I'm usually not good at that because I can't blend. But whatever. So, um, the process is pretty simple. We're just going to do like a gradient kind of thing from darkest to lightest on the inside. So, I'm going to take... Um, the bright pink shade called Bahamas and we're gonna take I'm gonna take this this is the um, Morphe E17 this is from like before the rebrand so it might be uh, called by a different name now but it's basically like a blending brush but it's like tightly packed so you can like pack on color as well as blend and I really like it um but yeah so I'm just gonna take that Bahama shade and we're gonna slowly build it up too that's like key by the way um slowly build it up in the outer corner um actually before I go any farther, I think I'm going to add some tape. So, yeah, just going to take that Bahama shade and slowly build it up on the outer corner, making sure to bring it to that tape so that you get that, like, you know, winged out kind of look. And then blending out as you go as well. it where I want to I'm gonna wipe my brush off on like this thingy and make sure it's as clean as possible and then just to blend those edges out a little more now after we get that done I'm gonna take Monte Carlo which is that more like lighter neutral pink and i'm going to put that in the center of the lid and blend it into that hot pink And 
and then the last step I'm gonna take just like a shader brush you can use the same brush but I'm gonna use a shader brush and I'm gonna take that matte white shade and put that on the inner third of the lid Just blend those colors together. I'm just gonna put in a little more of that second shade. Blend the white. That's better. Get a little too much white. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're just going to take the tape off. And you're left with these crisp lines that are hopefully going the same angle. <laughs> I'm going to do a wing. Um, it's easier when you have like the straight angles like this because you can use it as like a guide. And I'm going to use the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner. So I finished my eyes, or my um, liner, and um, I mean they don't look perfect by any means, but I think this is as good as we're going to get, so if you're better at wings then, you know. <laughs> do your thing but now i'm just going to do my face makeup i already have on like a little bit of a primer just to help smooth my skin out a little bit i'm not gonna be wearing foundation or anything i just do that sometimes because even without fam even without foundation sometimes it's nice to put on primer so that your skin is smooth and flawless so i'm gonna take my elf hydrating camo concealer and that's going to be my under eye concealer and you don't need a lot of this like at all I really like this concealer by the way I haven't tried the original I thought the camo one would be a little better um, because my under eyes tend to be on the dry side so I figured that it would help with it not um, looking super dry then I'm going to take my uh, loose powder and use that to set my face as well as, or my eye, under eyes, as well as the rest of my face. Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer and Bronze Babe and Bronze My Face. For blush, I'm going to go in with um, my Ciate blush in Dusk. It's the Marble Delight blush. It's pretty pink, so I thought it would go well with this look. Keeping with the pink theme. I'm going to do it like on the apples. And then across the nose. 
because I'm going for more of that like cute look instead of like baddie but if you're going for baddie you can do it like up here that way it helps sculpt your face but that's not what I'm going for so cute my candle is almost gone by the way it makes me sad for highlight I'm gonna go in with the pretty vulgar nesting bitch face palette I'm gonna take glimmers of BS which is that more pinky one for my highlight For the, so that's my face, and then for the under eye, I'm just going to take that pink Bahamas shade on a brush, I'm going to use the same one actually, and just blend that out under my eye. that same highlight that I used on my face and I'm going to use that for the inner corner as well. Beautiful. And then I'm going to put on my mascara and then that will be the finished look for the first one okay so i realized i forgot to do my lips um but i have my mascara on so i'm just gonna take like a hot pink um liquid lip type thing and put it in the center And blend it out with my finger. And then take a lip oil. And put that on top. So that's the first look. What do you think? Okay, so then for the next one, we're going to use the same eyes, but we're going to add a little detail. So I'm going to use my Creator Revo um, Revolution palette by uh, Revolution, Makeup Revolution, whatever. Um, these are like water activated um, colors and I like them a lot. I need to get like a, a mixing medium because it'd be better, but it's whatever. Um, right now, <laughs> I just use a uh, setting spray and it works pretty well. So I'm going to use the pink shade and going to spray some setting spray on it. the first time I've used the, the pink I'm gonna take like a little um this is a paint brush or I'm gonna take a liner brush and I'm just gonna like swirl it in here until I get like enough of the color it's pretty it's lighter than I thought it would be but that's good because I wanted it light. I'm going to take my liner brush and I'm just going to put like a little heart on the outside corner of my eyes. And I'm just going to like do like a V. That's so cute. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I love it. That's 
so cute. Dang. <laughs> I'm gonna do it to the other eye as well. The other one, watch the other one just like flop. But I find for little hearts, at least you can just like draw a V, but like press it down, press, press the brush down to where the curve of the brush makes the curve of the heart, if that makes sense. Still cute though. Not symmetrical, but that's okay. It's still cute. This one, this eye is so cute, which is good because this is my good side. So this, this will be the eye that I take pictures of. That's so cute. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Ah. What do you think? I like this one a lot, especially the, this heart, like I said, is a little derpy, but this one, that's so cute. Okay. Let me get some pics real quick. Okay, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this one, guys. Okay, and then the last one, I'm gonna zoom you back in. <laughs> Sorry, probably giving you guys whiplash. The last one, I'm going to take that same one. This is a more like creative one. So if you don't wanna do this one, that's fine. But I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna take my, where is it? My stipple brush and I'm just going to dip it into that pink. You probably know where this is going. And I'm gonna make little freckles everywhere. Mostly going across like the bridge of my nose. I did this with my like dark um Valentine's Day look if you've seen that on my Instagram with like the fake blood and stuff. I did it with the red in this palette and I think it turned out really good. So And then I'm gonna take um, my liner brush again and make like little hearts. kind of winging this <laughs> I feel like that's what I do most of the time though <laughs> but yeah I think I'm officially gonna stop here so this is the final look um yeah I think I'm gonna end the video here guys if you liked it please give it a thumbs up I thought I would just do a regular old-fashioned makeup tutorial cuz why not hopefully I I'm kind of struggling with like what videos to create because I don't want this channel to be strictly makeup. I want to do like more fun stuff. Um, hopefully I can get, <laughs> I know I started like a sim series like last year, probably about a year ago at this point. And I meant to like keep going with it, but um, life, life happens. So also my laptop is um, a mess. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I'll be doing that soon. I haven't actually touched the sims in general in like so long like there's so many updates and stuff that it needs to get caught up <laughs> like it's is rough <laughs> but yeah but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already follow me on my socials if you missed them in the beginning of the video they'll be in the description down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye